Hey guys, we're here to show you our 2021 Winnebago uh, 1800 BH. Um, and I'm gonna be brief about the outside. I'm sure you've seen it before. And then we'll show you the inside of how ours was delivered. You've got your power tongue jack here. You've got an LED light as well. You've got your dual LP tank. Uh, it comes with two 20 pound tanks. You can upgrade to 30 pounds if you want to. Your battery in its own cover and case. It's got the fiberglass cap here, which is what you mainly see on like fifth wheels. Um, you've got your outdoor storage. It's a pass-through underneath the bed inside. It's got the magnet, so it just kind of holds up there. You can see all the way through. You wanna close it, just let it go. It's gonna lock in place. You've got your awning, 13-foot awning with LED light. You've got your outdoor marine speakers. This is your potable water. This is for your cable hookup if you have an outside TV, which goes right here. Power outlet. This is your black tank flush. And you also have the dual axle, which also uh, has it raised up a bit because it's got the Explorer package. So you get your radial off-road tires as well. Back here, you've got your back bumper where you can put your hoses in if you want to. You got your full size spare tire. There's an outdoor shower and you got your ladder to take you up to the roof. And uh, if you uh, go on to the other side here. You got your 30 amp uh, power satellite hookup park cable hookup this is the pack and play storage here the bottom bunk lifts up you can put bikes bring it down there what's that white thing down here this is for your city water hookup Here's the other side of the pass-through storage. <clears throat> that pretty much uh, wraps up the outside. Over here is where you've got your sewer drain, where you drain your black and gray tank. And other than that, we'll go inside and show you that part. So we're inside the camper. And on this side here, we've got our RV queen size bed. Um, overhead storage over here. Now, when we originally saw this, they had the cabinet door with some gaps where you had space you had to creep into on the side. This one here came with doors all the way throughout the top all open and connects to each other. You've got, you've got blinds, emergency exit on both sides. You've got some storage underneath the bed here, which is also part of the pass-through from the outside. While we're down here, we've got storage underneath the dinette booth here on, on both sides. We've got the dinette that converts to a bed. The other style we've seen had the two poles. This one they gave us um, has a lever that you just turn and slide down. The back cushions create the rest of the bed. Put it back up, lock it in place storage above the dinette all open on this side here we've got your control panels up here this is going to be where you control your tanks or see the tank levels control your awning light heater uh, down here we've got an outlet we've got a fire extinguisher carbon monoxide detector 
We've got an extra little uh, shelf here for counter space. Above the sink area here, we've got the radio, another cabinet, open all the way, outlet for the microwave. We've got the microwave with the convection oven all in one, range hood, three burner gas uh, stove. The original one we seen had the oven here. They don't uh, didn't have it on this one here. It's doubled with the microwave. They put a drawer, pretty big, deep drawer for your pots and pans. Down here you've got your control center, which is for your breaker switches and fuses. We've got more drawer space here. Slide all the way out. This is for your sponges, rags, refrigerator, freezer, pretty decent size. This are these are the bunks, emergency exit up top, pack and play door on the side. That's the one that pops up where you can store bikes net here for when you put your storage doesn't go all over the place we have pantry doors over here this one doubles where you can take the shelf out and just put um, hangers for jackets and coats and we come this way to the bathroom vinyl shower sliding door here pretty decent size shower with the overhead giving me the headspace I need. I'm 5'11", so this pretty much gives me enough room. Towel bar. More for, more hanging hooks for towels. Uh, and then up top here, we've got the upgraded 15,000 BTU uh, air conditioning. And that's going to give us vents, ducted vents throughout the top. Also up here, you see all the LED lights. These are all individually turned on and off. The main one is with the switch. There's also LED lights and USB ports on the bottom and top bunk. The sink is a double, double size sink. Uh, the one we originally saw was smaller, pretty deep size sink. These are cutting boards as well as covers to give you more counter space. The faucet is definitely upgraded to what we've seen. Um, this is more residential style faucet here. And other than that, we've got the storage underneath. The sink here, pretty deep. Uh, down here is for your access for your water pumps and so forth and you got your speakers indoor speakers here which are controlled by the radio again the radio is dvd bluetooth am fm usb auxiliary um, we've got a wireless charger for your phones here the tv pops out swivels either direction where you want to put it got your cable connections here more USBs down here. This is wired for Wi-Fi as well. And I think that covers everything. So welcome to our, our camper. And this is basically the way it comes or the way we were, it was given to us. Stay tuned for the videos that we put out after we make some changes and adjustments um, and upgrades to our Winnebago. Thank you for watching.